Mastering Nanotechnology Risk Assessment Nanomaterials will kill us, slowly. Where in our operations might we encounter potential risks associated with nanomaterials, and what specific hazards or threats do these risks pose to our workers, the environment, and our organization's overall performance? Nanotechnology Risk Assessment, Operational Excellence Identifying and mitigating potential risks associated with nanomaterials is crucial to ensuring operational excellence and maintaining a safe and healthy work environment. The unique properties of nanomaterials, such as their small size and high reactivity, pose potential risks to workers, the environment, and the organization's overall performance. Worker Risks 1. Inhalation and Dermal Exposure Workers handling nanomaterials may be at risk of inhaling or coming into skin contact with them which can lead to respiratory problems, skin irritation, and other health issues. 2. Accidental ingestion. Workers may accidentally ingest nanomaterials, which can cause internal injuries or toxic reactions. Environmental risks. 1. Release into the environment. Accidental releases of nanomaterials during manufacturing, transportation, or disposal can contaminate soil, water, and air, potentially harming ecosystems and wildlife. 2. Bioaccumulation. Nanomaterials can bioaccumulate in organisms, leading to long-term environmental damage and potentially entering the food chain. Organizational risks. 1. Reputation and liability. Failure to mitigate risks associated with nanomaterials can damage the organization's reputation and lead to legal liability for environmental damage, worker injuries, or health problems. 2. Regulatory non-compliance. Failure to comply with regulations and guidelines related to nanomaterial handling can result in fines, penalties, and legal action. 3. Business disruption. Accidents or environmental incidents involving nanomaterials can disrupt operations, leading to lost productivity, revenue, and market share. To mitigate these risks, a comprehensive risk assessment and management strategy should be implemented, including 1. Employee training and education. Provide workers with detailed training on the safe handling, use, and disposal of nanomaterials, as well as emergency response procedures. 2. Personal protective equipment PPE, ensure workers use appropriate PPE, such as respirators, gloves, and safety glasses, to prevent exposure to nanomaterials. 3. Engineering controls Implement engineering controls, such as ventilation systems and containment structures, to prevent releases of nanomaterials into the environment. 4. Administrative controls Establish policies and procedures for the safe handling, storage, and disposal of nanomaterials, including inventory management and tracking. 5. Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment Conduct regular hazard identification and risk assessments to identify potential risks and implement controls to mitigate them. 6. Incident Response Planning Develop and regularly update incident response plans to ensure prompt and effective response to accidents or environmental incidents involving nanomaterials. 7. Collaboration and information sharing, participate in industry-wide information sharing and collaboration to stay up to date on best practices, new research, and emerging risks associated with nanomaterials. 8. Continuous monitoring and evaluation, regularly monitor and evaluate the effectiveness of risk management strategies and update them as needed to ensure operational excellence and minimize risks. By implementing these measures, organizations can minimize the risks associated with nanomaterials, ensure operational excellence, and maintain a safe and healthy work environment for workers, while protecting the environment and the organization's reputation and bottom line.